Hello everyone, I'm FD Productions, and welcome back to another video. So a few of you might know, uh, recently I've made a few videos on artificial intelligence, specifically image generation artificial intelligence. The first video was some alternatives to DALL-E 2, which is not out to the public yet, but it's basically a really good image generation AI. It's going to be a while before the general public gets access. So that video had some really good examples. Then I made a video on an AI generating textures to be put into Minecraft. And finally, here we come to today's video, and this is uh, simply the best alternative to Dolly 2 that you can get your hands on today. We get pretty high resolution images, uh, we get good images. This is very close to what Dolly 1 was, which no one ever had public access to, but if you look at the images, the images this one produces are pretty similar. You can get some really good stuff out of this. So what we're looking at today is Dolly Flow. This is made by the people that made Gina AI. It's on GitHub, so you could run it on your own machine, or you can run it uh, through the Google Collab console here, or you can also run it through the Jupyter console. Anyways, it's pretty simple. All I have to do is install this uh, Gina. They, they've got it all set up for you. So once that's loaded up, we just have to press this restart runtime button right here. Then we click this one and it sets up a demo server. And then we can put our prompt in. So for now, I'll just type in something simple like a watermelon on a light pink background. And then I'll add in something like this hyper detailed, hopefully you get a little bit more detail in there. So then we just click here to send the prompt to the server, and then we can actually start to generate some images. So this is going to generate 16 candidates, 8 from Dolly Mega and 8 from uh, GLID3XL. So this does take a little bit of time, about 2 minutes, but if you guys go flood the server, it won't happen at all, which is what happened when some guy made an interface for this. So their servers are not very strong, they can't really handle that many requests. Lately, I've been able to actually get some through, though, which is good, and it's been taking about two to three minutes to generate the first set of images here. All right, so we can see our watermelons. So as you can see, it's having a little bit of trouble here, but these are looking pretty decent. Definitely watermelon. I'm going to change the prompt up, give it an extra chance, but those images weren't too bad. All right, this is more of what I was looking for. I've noticed that this AI is much more sensitive to prompt changes than any AI I've used before. And you can see some different candidates here that start to look, uh, you know, close to what you're looking for. So we wanted a light pink background. A lot of these do have a light pink background. This one's looking really good, actually. This one's pretty good, except for it sort of loses it down here. This one's really good, and this one is also really good. I think just for now, we're going to stick with uh, number two here. So now we go down to the next step, and it says favorite ID number two. So as you can see, this one was number two. We then click this button. It shows us an image of that number two. So now what we're going to do is diffuse, which we run this uh, piece of code right here. And basically this generates a bunch of variations of this image right here. And then we can pick our favorite one and upscale it. And you can also adjust this skip right here to change how similar uh, all of the different images will be to this image right here or how different they will be from this image. So you can sort of pick and choose. As you can see, these all look pretty decent. It's starting to add the watermelon in the background for some of these. I'm going to go ahead and change the skip rate so you guys can sort of get a better idea of how this works. So basically, we can go up to about 0.9 here, and that'll be very similar to this. Or we can go all the way down to like 0.1, and all the images will be very different. So we'll go all the way down to 0.3 and we'll see how different the images get from this. And running this takes about a minute to two minutes. And as you can see, the images start to get much more different uh, than what we see up here, but some of them are actually pretty decent. For example, this one right here, number one, I'm really liking. A little too many seeds, but you know, what can you do? So now that we've decided we like that image, we're gonna go down here and click one for favorite ID. So we select that one. And now we run this final, uh, piece of code right here and that's going to upscale this to uh, 1024 by 1024 and this part is really fast I know the image looks the same here but if we right click we can then save the image and when we open it up we can see it in all of its glory and there's our final watermelon image 
And when you think about it, you know, going back up to what we originally uh, wanted, image of a whole watermelon against a light pink background hyper detail. This is not a whole watermelon, but uh, you know, this is not GPT-3. It's not going to really get that. So I'm okay with this. This is a watermelon against a light pink background. It's, I think it does a pretty good job, better than any image generation AI I've seen before. So now what I want to do is c do some comparison images against uh, regular Dolly 2, which of course no one has access to. So just for fun here on the right, I've got Dolly 2. This is a photo of a chicken on a skateboard in Times Square. So we are going to give this the same exact prompt that Dolly got, and we will generate some candidates. Again, of course, Dolly 2 is going to give us a better image, but I want to see how close this completely free-to-use AI can get to this closed beta Dolly 2. All right, we have our candidates generated here. As you can see, we definitely have a lot to pick from. I think the AI is doing the Times Square part really well. The chicken's also looking very uh, decent, I would say. The skateboard, it is definitely having uh, trouble with. And I would say we should go with this image right here. This is number two once again. And we'll send this through Diffusion and see what we can get. All right, so after Diffusion, we have some decent candidates. I'd say this one is the most coherent. So here's our final comparison. At least we can see, uh, you know, all of the different aspects that it was going for. We've got the skateboard. Definitely got Times Square, which looks uh, pretty good in my opinion. And then we got the chicken, which mostly looks uh, pretty decent. You know, with enough uh, practicing and random chance, you could get a very good chicken riding a skateboard. It might just take a lot more work than something like Dolly, too. But um, in comparison, if you guys have seen any of the other image generation AIs that are out, this one's definitely the best so far. So this is one that I actually tried earlier um, with this AI, one of the first images I actually tried. And I was able to get a few good cookie generations that actually look very similar to Dolly uh, here. This one was definitely the best. And you can see, you know, um, this definitely looks like a chocolate chip cookie. This one is a usable image. This looks very good. Um, obviously, Dolly 2 is going to generate a better image. But uh, this one was something that it really was able to do well. I'll go through these as well. This was a uh, Pixar-style character, Lemon wearing sunglasses on the beach that I was able to generate, and this one looked very good as well. Surprisingly, this AI does animals pretty well, and I also did a golden retriever as a render as well, and it came out pretty decent. Let's give this one a shot, a cubed basketball. And here you can see where um, Dolly Flow just cannot match up to Dolly 2. It definitely is getting the basketball right. This is actually very similar to what Dolly 1 was generating. This is one of the photos they used as a comparison. It gets the basketball idea, but it cannot get the, uh, the fact that it's going to be a basketball that's completely made out of a cube. We'll give it another shot, though. We'll say it's a basketball shaped like a cube. And in this one, we actually get a little bit closer, but still uh, Dolly Flow cannot match Dolly 2 here. We've actually got some pretty nice images of uh, the basketball. It's doing like the, the shading very well, I would say. Uh, but down here, it actually came up with two cubed variants. So this isn't too bad. We'll, we'll give number 15 a shot for diffusion. And maybe, just maybe, we can actually get a cubed basketball. And sadly, no, um, we will not be getting anything that nice. I mean, some of these images look pretty coherent. They look like a thing. They're not just a mess, but they're not a cubed basketball. But, you know, very impressive considering um, the other alternatives. Let's go for something a little uh, easier, an orange, just a basic orange. And as you can see, um, with such a simple prompt, we get some really nice and usable images. Um, some of these, I would honestly say, are indistinguishable from, you know, an image I might find online. All of these are honestly really good. I want to give a few of them a shot. We're going to start with uh, number 13 here. I'm going to set the skip rate really high for this one. And you can see none of these are really uh, that different uh, from the initial image here. And I suppose we'll just go with number six. And opening up the image, I have to say it looks pretty decent. Obviously, the resolution here um, just really cannot compete with Dolly 2's resolution. I mean, there's hardware limitations and stuff like that. Um, but this is starting to look really good. And when you look at this, you know, a little bit smaller, it almost looks like a real photo. And I have to say this orange is looking mighty fine. 
Um, you know, both of them are near, I would say this one's photorealistic and this one's nearly photorealistic. It looks pretty good. You can sort of see, uh, where the upscaling tried to do some work here, but, uh, really not too bad at all. And for my final prompt here, we're going to just try to generate a diamond. All right, here we go with our diamonds. As you can see, it really tried to do my geometric shaping. I personally like the ones with a little bit of context down here. And we're going to do a really low skip rate and just see what happens. Wow! A lower skip rate can sometimes yield some insane results. This one, I think, came out incredibly good. Number three here. Wow, this one came out so good. So yeah, everyone, uh, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and check this one out. Try not to flood the servers, though. And uh, yeah, this this thing is incredible, and it is definitely the best you're going to get uh, before Dolly 2 uh, comes out to the public. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys in another one. Goodbye.